Alexandros Christodolo. So approaching the boxing ring is Alexandros Christodolo of Cyprus, making his way to the red corner. His opponent is Adrian Tiam Krius. The Spanish boxer will be operating out of the blue corner. So referee James Beckel is calling both boxers to center ring to issue the final instructions. A rather intense stare down between the two boxers during those final instructions from referee James Beckel. We're in the 63.5 kilogram light welterweight division. This is action from the third, excuse me, the second preliminary round. The round of 32 is between boxers from Cyprus and Spain. The man wearing red is the Cypriot boxer, Alexandros Christodoulou, 22 years of age, competing in his first world championships. His opponent is Adrian Tiam Krius competing in his second World Championship tournament after boxing in Yekaterinburg two years ago. The 23-year-old, an impressive unanimous points decision winner over Mark Andreev of Estonia, the multiple reigning national champion of his homeland. Boxed effectively on the back foot and produced some eye-catching pot shots during the course of that round of 64 victory. There he scores with a left jab. Christodolu, part of a four-man Cypriot boxing team. His left jab may have been a more solid shot during that exchange, which was led off by Krius. Up shooting left jab was a scoring shot from Krius. There's the same shot he tries once again, turns a right uppercut underneath. And a slapping left hook, but it's with the inside of the glove landed by Krius. Tries a leaping left hand, but it was caught by the gloves of his opponent. Nice left jab landed by Krius. He's remaining in the pocket. Punches coming around from Christodoulou, but not finding the mark. Double left jab pecked into the abdomen of the man in red. And Krius just doing a good job maintaining the distance, maintaining his composure and employing the layback to make the man in red fall short. There's he, try, he tries a right uppercut left hook, but it only found the gloves of his opponent. Christodoulou, bobbing and weaving in front of his man now, trying to tuck his chin behind those gloves. Momentarily turned southpaw, now he's back to the orthodox stance. Nice head movement in the pocket, but he couldn't evade that jab, Christodoulou. And that's a beautiful right hand that he's just walked onto. And when Krius begins to measure his man like that, well, he's, in a very, he's a very effective operator indeed as he scores with another right hand, catching the advancing boxer in red. You can see the reddening beneath that left eye. 
as a result of the sharp shot such as that right hand that Krios is increasingly finding the mark with. Goes for a flashy lead, half hook, half uppercut, but it didn't quite get through. Switching his feet continually in the closing stages of the opening round was Christodoulou. But a very good round of boxing produced by Krius over in the blue corner. So the first round scored unanimously in favor of Krius. The judge from Netherlands scoring it 10-8 in favor of the man from Spain. So some of the action then from that first round, heads came together there. Christodoulou switching his feet quite frequently. That was a beautiful right uppercut picked by Krius. And again, just a reminder that an Aiba boxing, 10-9, is for a close round, 10-8 for a clear winner, 10-7 for total domination. So we're going to the second round then. Alexandra Christodoulou, oh my goodness, well what is that? Really untidy tangle, seeing both men, seeing both men tumble to the canvas. Part of a four-man boxing team representing Cyprus is Christodoulou. Took the 2020 national title, as did Krius, two-time reigning national champion of Spain. As a quarter-finalist in the 2019 edition of the European Under-22 Championships in Vladikavkaz in Russia. Already gone at least a round better then his performance in his first World Championships where he was outpointed by the outstanding Brazilian boxer Wanderson de Oliveira in the first preliminary round in Yekaterinburg two years ago. Wanderson has been operating over in Ring B and has been very impressive to this point of the tournament here in, Saint in Belgrade. So approaching the midpoint of the round as again Christodoulou continually switching his feet between orthodox and southpaw but he's not getting into the range with enough consistency there's a check right hand celebrated by Krius once again and at this type of tempo it's playing into the hands of Krius because I mentioned at the outset the manner in which he negotiated his first round contest against Andreev was at this type of pace oh now that first right hand with Krius's hand tangled in the ropes did catch the man in blue second one was an altogether more glancing blow Christodoulou has got to try and do something to make Krius uncomfortable here the man in red Switching between orthodox and southpaw, runs onto another right hand, comes back out after being tagged as a left-handed boxer, leading with the right foot and right glove. Swinging in with left hooks. But Krius, just content to stay on the back foot and pile up the points, picking off the man as he ball rushes forwards, trying to close the gap, but he's not sustaining the pressure. So it's a case of one and done. Often for Krius. There he's spoken to about punching incorrectly by the referee. Nice right hand was a solid shot. May have been blocked by the left glove of Christodoulou, but the second one did get through. Left hand not too far away from Christodoulou. Krius spoken to about illegal defensive tactics with extended arms. So two rounds in the book. And this man continuing to compete, but I don't think he's done enough to take the round. And but Cruz taking the first on a 4 1 split, including a 10 8 card from the judge from Netherlands. This time it's 10 9, all five scoring judges scoring favor of the Frenchman. So he's got a two point lead 20 points to 18 for judges 2, 3, 4, and 5. He's 20 17 on the card of the judge from the Netherlands after he scored the first round 10-8 in favor of the Spanish boxer.
So we move into the third and final round. Relaxed left jab just cracked into the body of Christodoulou by Creus. Creus remaining committed to the job that lies ahead of him. But look at that, the gap between he and the man in blue is simply too big for him to close. Both literally and figuratively, because he's beyond punching range here. Creus' feet are so quick that he's often able to dart within range, land a single, and away he's gone again. Whereas Christodoulou, not able to quicken his feet, not able to close the gap. And when he does try to do so, well, he's been run onto the backhand of Creus on a few occasions during the course of this contest. So it's a very difficult position that he finds himself in. Because if he tries to close the distance, he's in danger of being picked off. And when he tries to box from distance, well, he doesn't have the tools in his bag at this stage of his career to mix it and make Creus, the reigning Spanish national champion, uncomfortable. And in the meantime, the clock continues to tick and Creus edges ever closer towards the round of 16, the third preliminary round in the light welterweight tournament. But again, it's a wonderful experience for Christodoulou. Might not feel that way at the moment when he's being outboxed and being outscored. But when he and his team look back at this in the near future as a foundation upon which to build his future Aiba boxing career and indeed in years to come, well, what an experience it must have been for a 22-year-old from Cyprus to be part of a four-man national boxing team and rubbing shoulders with the very best in the world. The training facilities here are second to none. And so during the course of that, the man must have been in the training facilities at a similar time to iconic figures from the world of Aiba boxing, including the reigning Olympic champion, Andy Cruz, who's the reigning world champ of, as, of, as well as, of course, boxers from all over the world, seeing their training habits, seeing their preparation, seeing their focus, seeing how they switch off in between tasks during training. Whether they eat or whether they consume something after the way, and all of these things you can only gain by being there. Well, I suppose you could read about it, but it's not the best thing. In my opinion, experience the best teacher. And Christodoulou waving his man in, but it's not going to be an invitation that Creus accepts. And so with three rounds completed, it will be the man in blue who's going through to the third preliminary round. But again, a valuable learning experience for Alexandros Christodoulou. Just not able to get to grips or close the gap on Adrian Tiam Creus of Spain. So there's confirmation of a unanimous points decision victory for Adrian Tiam Creus of Spain. Taking all three rounds for all five of the scoring judges. 10-8 in the first round on the card of the judge from the Netherlands. And we will see Creus in the boxing ring again on the 1st of November in the evening session. Valuable learning experience picked up by Alexandros Christodoulou. We hope that we see him again in future Aiba and Continental boxing competitions. Some of the action then from the contest. <laughs> 